Hi, my name is Lori Williams, and this is your PRV Moment. Today, I want to talk to you about something that every remote viewer struggles with, especially those who are in the first five or 10 years of their journey. It's the problem of wanting to be right. We all know what that's like. We all have that issue. Do you ever stress about being wrong or making a mistake? Yeah, me too. I do too. Wanting to be right. We all do it. I've often said that the ego is the thing that will get in your way, any remote viewer's way, more than anything else. That need for affirmation, the need to be right. Now, at the same time, you may think, well, yeah, but if I'm not right, what's the point? Why attempt to remote view if I'm never accurate? And I understand where that comes from. But if you practice without worrying about being right, the accuracy will come. Now, as a new viewer, I was really angst-ridden. Viewing felt really scary for me because my need to be right was so strong. Like the majority of humans in most countries, I was raised to be perfect. Perfection was the goal and it was huge. I was really terrified of making a mistake. There was no room for being wrong in my household. One of my dad's mantras was, sorry isn't good enough. Sorry doesn't fix it. And in school, I was expected to be on the honor roll with every report card, like many of you, I'm sure. In life, with every stumble, and in my life, there were a lot of them, it felt like the end of the world, my world, at least. And all of this transferred into my remote viewing life. I was afraid of writing down a word that would turn out to be wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. And it was a lot of pressure. Finally, one day, and I don't remember how many years in this was, but one day I finally just had enough and I let go. I just let go. I just said, you know what? F it. <laughs> I was like, I just don't even care. I'm just going to do this practice session. Nobody's going to die if I get it wrong. And I'm just going to do my best and see what happens. I realized that it wasn't a life or death thing. If I wrote down a wrong word, it was just a practice target. After all, I was just learning. I was just beginning to hone my skill. And that's when I decided to give myself permission to make shit up. Now, I hope I didn't offend anybody by the use of that word, but really it's the word, the only word that fits this scenario. It's so apropos. <laughs> that moment, that moment when I gave myself permission to make shit up was a real turning point in my development as a remote viewer. It was huge for me. My sessions started to flow a lot more effortlessly. They just started flowing out. I wasn't editing anymore. Stuff was just flowing and coming and I was just writing it down and I didn't care if it was right or wrong anymore. And that's when the accuracy really started to come. I became much more accurate in my remote viewing because my subconscious mind could finally have a voice. It was finally able to express itself without me trying to edit every other word. Now, I wish that that moment of clarity had come to me much sooner. I wish somebody had told me that early on. Hey, you know, give yourself permission to make shit up. You'll be fine. I wish someone had said that, but no one ever said that to me. So I decided that I was going to give the gift of this statement to all of my students right off the bat, day one of my basic remote viewing course, that I would tell them that. And that's what I started doing help them get along faster in their remote viewing journey. So again, as a gift to my students, I tell them this right away. And I want to tell you that now. Give yourself permission to make shit up. Just make it up. Tell yourself it's okay. I'm just making up a story. I can just make stuff up. I can just make up words. Let words just find their way out of my mouth and onto that page. <laughs> I can just let the words flow 
And then I find that I'm much more accurate. And as I have those doors open and stuff is flowing, then I find that I get deeper and deeper into the target. I get more and more information. The information becomes multi-layered and I can get detail that I never was able to get before. So give yourself permission to make shit up has become a staple phrase for all of my students because it is so freeing. What can it mean to lift the pressure off ourselves that we constantly put on ourselves? What will it mean to you to take that pressure off? So I get a lot of letters from people who are saying, you know, Lori, I just feel like I'm so afraid of making a mistake. And then, and then viewing becomes so unpleasant for me. So I want to tell you right now that you don't have to feel afraid of making a mistake and you can just give yourself permission to make shit up. So that's my message for you for the day. Your PRV moment is give yourself permission just to make shit up. And you're going to find yourself becoming a much more accurate remote viewer. Okay, so I'll see you next time.